Yeah, I just need to cut the body. No, because it won't turn. The slightest issue can drastically affect performance of this radio-controlled race car. And worse, end this team's dream of a national finals title at the 1080 Student Racing Challenge, NASCAR STEM initiative in Kannapolis, North Carolina, near Charlotte. Students apply lessons in science, technology, engineering and mathematics, or STEM, to try and win the race. We are a rookie team, so it's our first time being here, and so far it's really fun. Evan Sloan and his team from AMSA, the Advanced Math and Science Academy in Massachusetts, knew going in they faced stiff competition, which included the team that came in second place last year in the overall challenge. <laughs> team METSA, the Math, Engineering, Technology, Science Academy from Texas, brought with them STEM projects and innovations designed to give them an edge over the competition. The wind turbine actually helps us produce our, the energy that we need to actually power our chargers, to power our batteries. Twelve teams, 160 students, grades 6 through 12, convened at Stuart Hawes Racing Shop, which is the U.S. Army-sponsored NASCAR Sprint Cup Series team. A fitting venue for students to employ STEM principles that are used in professional racing every day. That can apply to whatever you do in it, whether you know, be in the Army or designing missiles or rockets or what we do in NASCAR, and that's working on the car bodies. So I think it's very important, it's, and it's good they're getting the basics here with the 1080 program. Oh, we got to come in the middle of the track. 1080 Education and the U.S. Army are working together to immerse students in real-life applications of STEM to prepare them for a wide array of careers from engineering to marketing. I saw a team that their alternative project actually made an app uh, for a smartphone. You know, so they wrote the code to all that to, to do a 1080 app on their smartphone. I mean, so they're, 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 they're learning the hard skills, engineering type stuff, as well as the soft skills of just being a team and being a leader. The mental, physical, and emotional strength needed by these competitors is similar to that of U.S. Army racing teams and U.S. Army soldiers. I guess you could say I was nervous. I was trying to keep a steady pace and a uh, set course. Students went head-to-head -head in a series of races, including the final 45-minute endurance challenge, pulling out all their STEM strategies, including the use of solar power. I know that he's used that to gain, I think, some energy for it, for it to run more faster. And he also builds this, um, this fan, this cooling fan to cool the motor inside the car. After a full day of racing... Second place today goes to AMSA. The rookie team comes in second, and the national finals championship title goes to... Congratulations go to Mesa. In the end, Students credit STEM education with making the difference in their success on the track. The take-home lesson being, with a solid foundation in science, technology, engineering, and math, anything is possible. One, two, three. I'm Marianne Razook reporting for the U.S. Army.